now I thought I would share this painting with you today. This is entitled Tower of Bees Hit by Forces Beyond Their Control. It was painted in 2007 and I painted it in a single layer in a very rough and unusual style for me because I normally like to paint in extremely fine detail but I thought no this particular painting demands a mix of details. That's what's unusual about it really. We've got um, a pile of highly detailed bees or well, relatively highly detailed nowadays I paint extremely extremely detailed magnifying glass detailed. Um, We've got a pile of bees in the centre and they're smashed by this huge white wave, this violent sea wave. Um, originally I, I, the, I, the idea came to me after seeing a lighthouse hit by a giant wave in a similar way and I thought well instantly the idea of a pile of bees being hit by the wave jumped into my mind. Perhaps it was related to beards of bees, do you know those? Where you have beekeepers who wear or are covered in bees to create some sort of beard-like effect, like the beekeeper becomes the hive. But at some point they have to wave their arms and wave the bees away. And that's what's happening here. We've got a pile of bees in a tower-like formation, but they're being smashed by this wave and dispersing in different ways. It creates an extreme extremely energetic painting of forces of nature. It's got a great feeling of explosion and panic perhaps all built into it. Um, I think the original idea was something to do with when an unexpected event hits you but I didn't really have a completely conscious idea of what it was about. I just knew that the feeling was amazing which is what um, is what art should be about. It should be about creating some amazing and powerful feeling without necessarily knowing what it's about because that's for the audience, that's for you to determine. It's for you to work out exactly the psychology behind it. It's the feeling that's there. It's like a piece of music or a piece of classical music where you can feel exactly what it's like. You, you can feel what Beethoven's Fifth Symphony is about in a purely emotional way but you can't exactly express that entirely in rational terms and that's what good art is. It's something where you know exactly what it's about in an emotional way but not in a rational way. 